guys what's going on my name is louis today is october 12 2024 and god bless to every single one of you guys make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell we have an urgent breaking news coming out the u.s president dropping the f-bomb on the holy land so the u.s president to the holy land stop striking u.n peacekeepers in lebanon what in the world is wrong with you now he dropped the f-bomb according to some sources he dropped the f-bomb he called the holy land and told him you know dropping the f-bomb saying what is wrong with you what is wrong with you why are you striking us why are you striking the u.n peacekeepers so we're gonna see what's going on here guys this is a big breaking news uh again uh the u.s president uh has issued a firm warning to the holy land calling on it to absolutely positively end strikes on un peacekeepers in southern lebanon all right following multiple boom event near the un headquarters that left two of them wow all right we're gonna see what's going on here guys so once again the u.s president just sent a firm warning to the holy land but before i start let's go with the verse of the day <clears throat> Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. So for yourself, righteousness, reap the fruit of unfailing love and break up your unplowed ground. For it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and showers righteousness on you. We're going to go with uh, thoughts on today's verse. Please share the video. In the middle of God's rebuke of his people through Hosea the prophet, God gives his people this beautiful challenge. So for yourself, righteousness, reap the fruit of unfailing love. God promises to help us break up the unplowed and hardened ground in our hearts as we seek him. As our hearts soften to God's loving grace, he promises to shower his blessing of righteousness on us as we pursue him and his ways. So rather than seeing God's call for us to be righteous as a hard goal to pursue, let's see it as a great blessing to receive as we seek him and open our softened hearts to him. Here's a prayer. O Lord Most High, Use your Holy Spirit to purify and cultivate my heart so that it is soft and receptive to your will and compassionate to those in need. Please make it a holy place for your spirit to live as you shower your righteousness on me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Amazing verse right there. God could transform people's lives if people repent and seek for God. So it's very important to get involved into the gospel it's very important to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior and also receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. God sent his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Share the video, guys. Learn the verse. Study the verse. Memorize the verse. All right. So once again, uh, the U.S. president to the Holy Land. Stop striking U.N. peacekeepers in Lebanon. What in the world is wrong with you? Benjamin, what is wrong with you? Hmm? What is wrong with you? Here's the thing, and I've been saying this for a very long time. They're too defiant. They're too defiant. Now, I'm not going after the Holy Land. I stand with the Holy Land. I stand with the Holy Land. Is those in a spotlight. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, remember, Benjamin said he don't need Jesus Christ. He don't want Jesus Christ. He said he's a J-E-W-S. He don't need Jesus. Now, again, that's a big problem because that's like a Pharisee heart right there. 
and we've seen persecution. We have seen that uh, he's going after young ones. Now he's going after UN peacekeeper I, again. A madman. Not. I'm not going after the Holy Land. Like I said, I stand with the Holy Land. Please don't take that the wrong way. I just can't follow Ben. I can't do that. Once again, um, the four six has issued a firm warning to the Holy Land, calling on it to absolutely, positively, and strike on UN peacekeepers in Southern Lebanon, following multiple boom near the headquarters. All right, so this incident marks the second hit on UN peacekeeping forces in 48 hours, sparking massive backlash from world leaders and rights groups. Dude, Ben, what in the world is, what is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you? I'm sorry to say this. He's a madman. He's a madman. He is a madman. I've seen videos of young ones. <sighs> disturbing. Disturbing. He is a madman. There's ways of dealing with this type of stuff. But he's just dropping whatever stuff he can. Doesn't matter if it's a young one. Doesn't matter if it's allies. I mean, he's just a madman. Leb caretaker PM labeled the strike criminal and urged the U.N. Security Council to take immediate action for a cease, F-I-R-E, in Levin. All right, let's go with the full article here. Once again, the sleeping giant leader has said he is absolu absolutely positively urging the Holy Land, you better knock it off. You better stop it. On Friday, the Holy Land military said its troop were responsible for the incident in which two, wow, Sri Lankan forces for the UN uh, were impacted. And that ain't no accident. That ain't no accident. The Holy Land military operating around the base identify a warning and opened, F-I-R-E, the Holy Land Army said, adding the incident will be investigated at the highest levels. On Thursday, two Indonesian soldiers were also impacted from observation uh, tower after a Holy Land tank fired towards it. This needs to stop. It, it, it just like I say, guys, Ben is a madman. The leaders uh, of France, Italy, and Spain issued a joint statement condemning the Holy Land action, saying they were unjust, uh, unjustifiable and should immediately come to an end. Sri Lanka Foreign Ministry said it strongly condemns the Holy Land military strike, which impacted two of its soldiers. Man. The head of the UN peacekeeping uh, said there was reason to believe some firing on the position in Southern Lab had been direct, though it did not ascribe responsibility of the incident. Now, for example, we have a case where a tower was hit by fire and also damages to cameras at one of the positions, which, uh, excuse me, guys, which obviously to us very much look like direct fire. Hmm. So, as the Holy Land invasion of Southern Lebanon continues, the Holy Land military and the Lebanon Armed Forces, uh, the group, continue to fire equipment across the Holy Land Lebanon border. Now, the Holy Land military said it had detected about 100 rockets crossing into northern Holy Land from Lebanon within the space of half an hour on Friday. Two unmanned aerial vehicles were detected crossing from Lebanon, one of which was intercepted in the Holy Land military. Excuse me, the Holy Land military said. I truly apologize, guys. I had no coffee this morning. No coffee, and I'm very tired. Stay in the gas station line for three hours. It, it, it's terrible. 
the Lebanon Ministry of Health said three, including a young one, were out in a Holy Land raid on the city of, I'm going to skip that name. See, that's the problem. A lot of young ones. Why? Why, Ben? Why? Why? Two Lebanon uh, soldiers were out after the Holy Land forces targeted an army post in the town of that region in southern Lebanon. Now, in the capital, Beirut emergency workers continued to cope through the wreckage of buildings hit by two of the Holy Land. So, once again, the PM said that the strike came with no warning and has taken 22 all civilians and impacted another 117. The Holy Land has not commented. See, that's the problem there, guys. That's the problem. The Holy Land, they know that uh, there's going to be many, many young ones and innocents going to get impacted. I mean, this is just... In... The bear is not even doing this to Crane. Russia is not even doing this to Crane. But the Holy Land has gone mad. Again, Ben gone mad. The Holy Land forces launched a ground operation into Southern Lab last month as they escalated their response to the rocket fire from Hellsbow. Hellsbow and the Holy Land have been trading near daily cross-border fires since last October when the palace group uh, in the Strip carried out a operation in the Holy Land. Now the Holy Land military has said the UN post struck in that region on Friday was about 164 feet, 50 mile, uh, 50, I don't think that's 50 mile, 164 feet away from the source of the warning identif identified by the soldiers. It said it had told the peacekeeping troops to stay in protected spaces at the time. Now, once again, um, you have Unifil said the Holy Land military vehicles had knocked over barriers at another UN site in this region closer to the border with Holy Land. Why is the Holy Land military taking down barriers? I mean, that's the UN site. So why is the Holy Land military vehicles taking down barriers at the UN site? The incident represented a serious development. So this person said Friday the strike was a lawlessness which is directed at the international community. That's something uh, very important to know. The Holy Land taking down barriers that belongs to the UN. So look at this. About 10,000 peacekeepers from 50 countries are stationed in Lebanon alongside around 800 staff. Man. So a lot of this stuff here, I'm just going to skip, guys. Again, this is all like talking about history and what happened in October and this and that. So I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to skip some of this stuff. But, uh... It says here you have Lebanon says more than 2,000 have been out, mainly in the recent operation, and hundreds of thousands have been displaced. Mm. I'm just going to skip the rest of this here, guys. The Holy Land has been conducting a new ground operation in the area, saying it is impacting regrouping HAMAS fighters who aim to launch strike, with dozens reportedly out. All right, so follow me on the cold words here, guys, but uh, this is where we are right now. So... The sleeping giant leader, is, he's putting his foot down. He's saying, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Why are you going and hitting the, uh, the peacekeeping? You took down their barriers, too. What are you doing? 
We didn't mean to do that. Come on, stop it. Stop it. That was their plan. Again, um, but um, the Holy Land, those in the spotlight, they are too defiant. They just trust themselves. They just trust in themselves. Yes, they. I believe they're using the Sleeping Giant just for money and help. If they truly care about the Sleeping Giant, they will not be going after uh, those peacekeeping. But uh, again, guys, uh, this is a big breaking news. And I knew there was something definitely wrong with Ben. Ben is a madman. Now, again, I'm not going after the Holy Land, but Ben is like a Pharisee. Man. Uh, he just, uh, again, he really don't care if it's a young one. He really don't care if it's a... Uh, old one he really don't care if it's a sleeping giant ally he really don't care oops that was an accident we didn't mean to do that uh you heading facility that has young ones in there or again hospital you know what i mean again madman but uh this is where we are right now guys i would keep it updated once again the sleeping giant leader he's putting his foot down he's saying you better knock it off drop the f-bomb from what I heard, this is coming out from multiple sources. The Sleeping Giant leader dropped the F-bomb on the Holy Land. Hmm. You guys know what the F-bomb is. But uh, yeah, that goes to tell you that uh, the Sleeping Giant leader, he's not pleased. He is not pleased. Hmm. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please share the video. For those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19. Number two, Holiday Florida 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. Excuse me, every Monday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.